Hey, good morning, everybody. Our passage today is out of Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And it starts out like this. Verse 16 says, Someone came to Jesus with this question. Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? This young man was trying to earn his way. He was trying to say, I've done enough good things to make myself eligible for eternal life. And the, the Jesus asks him, well, how are you doing with the commandments, young man? And he says, well, you know, I think I've got those down to a T. I've, I've, I've handled those. And Jesus gives him one more. He says, uh, if you want to be perfect, in verse 21, go and sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. Now, there were other places in Scripture where Jesus did not give this particular command to other people. But to this particular guy, uh, he gives this commandment because Jesus knew that this guy had another thing, another God in his life that was in competition with, with the real God. His stuff was the other thing in his life. I'm guessing that every one of us, myself included, have something in our life that maybe competes with God for number one in our life. And the thought of losing it makes us kind of uneasy. It makes us kind of anxious. It could be wealth, just like this young man. It could be just being liked. It could be power. It could be pleasure seeking or sports. It could be just being independent and in control of your own life. Even good things, some good things can get in the way of that being, they can be to try to be the number one thing in our life in competition with God. But Matthew in, uh, continues the story. He says, but when the young man heard this, he went away sad for he had many possessions. Jesus continued and he said, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were astounded. Then who in the world can be saved? They asked. Jesus looked at them intently and said, Humanly speaking, it's impossible. But with God, everything is possible. Now, notice that Jesus didn't say, he didn't give preference to saying that, wow, if you have no possessions, it's going to be a lot easier. Now, he said, for everybody, it's impossible. But he also said, with God, everything is possible. He says, who you, whoever you are, you're going to have to trust God. Even if you have the power of the president or the, the wealth of Warren Buffett or Jeff Bezos, or, or even if you have nothing at all to tempt you, or you think you have nothing at all to tempt you, you still have to trust. Jesus wanted the young man to know, and he wants us to know, that that is the only way. The only way is to trust him. Now, if we let Jesus dethrone that one thing, in our life, uh, whatever it is, whatever it is that's come be in, in the way of making him number one. And if we continue to allow him to help us grow, to be more like Jesus, to grow more in love with him, uh, money and stuff or whatever that number one thing is, it'll, it'll pale in comparison. Jesus says, when you're truly blown away by God, by Jesus and his love, by his grace, by his inexpressible goodness, by, by how much he loves us, then everything else, even that one thing that was dethroned, it will pale in comparison. He told that to the disciples. The disciple says, but we've given away so many things to follow you. And Jesus said, you will never regret that decision. So today, I hope you will go away from this and you will allow Jesus to dethrone that one thing in your life that's getting it in the, in the way. Go and with his help, let him be number one in your life. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.